Uh, hi everyone, my name is Yubesh. Welcome to my uh, welcome to my channel. So today I'll be uh, uh, I'll be showing how to use the Databricks Community Edition, which is a free uh, where you can you know uh, practice uh, Spark uh, programs. So let's get started. I uh, go to Google and uh, type data. Type data bricks community. Then go to the so once it is open, it will ask for a login, login username and uh, password. So since we are new, so now click on sign up. So here you will see two options. One is uh, database platform free trial and community edition so we are going for this community edition uh, it will give you a single cluster limited to 6 GB and uh, no worker nodes so so it will be like uh, a limited uh, environment but it's good enough for practice so let's get started click on get started so it will ask for sign up where you need to fill in few details so let's say Okay, yeah, company name ABC. Your uh, uh, remember here you need to give your work email, it will not take the Gmail and all, so you'll have to give you your uh, office or uh, work email. Let's say if I'm working for uh, Google, uh, working for uh, uh, let's say Capgemini, I'll give it a uh, Capgemini like uh, ABC or let's say. Okay, at the right abc.com. Likewise, I can give then uh, your phone number. Then, what is what is the intended use? So, there are uh, various uses here. If you are uh, using it for learning Spark, taking an online course, likewise, uh, let's say I will take it as a learning. Spark. Okay. So then, what? How would you describe? How? What are you? Data scientist, DevOps, software engineer. I'll, I'll take it as a software engineer. Then, if you want to, like, you can check it, this checkbox. If you want to get occasional updates on Databricks, robot. Okay. Then you can click the button, and it will create your account. okay time to check your email so so once you uh, you know click on sign up it will uh, it will uh, send you an email for uh, email uh, verification you can go to your mailbox and uh, check that uh, email and click on that verification link and you will be all set so, so close it so if i am your password click on sign in so this will be your uh, uh, databricks uh, community edition home page so uh, so here you can create your cluster you can create table you can create notebook likewise so so make sure uh, you have your uh, cluster up and running so click on cluster We'll name it for now. We'll name it as a test cluster. Okay, it is it is getting started. You need to be patient for so I'll, I'll pause the video until it gets up and running. So here it is. The cluster is uh, up and running. So you go go to the page. Now you can create a new notebook. In notebook you can you can take uh, give any name. First program, and then uh, you can choose any language you want. Py. You can use Python, Scala, SQL, R. Will as a Scala. You can create. 
to your notebook. So you can type your code and uh, you can execute uh, from this uh, run cell or uh, run all. Also uh, make sure the cluster is attached to your uh, this notebook. Okay, so so we'll just uh, know that in the some sample program let's say word count. So here word count. I have this uh, file loaded into uh, this uh, uh, directory mm -hmm. uh, file store store tables word uh, file store tables directory and uh, file name is word dot We are uh, uh, this is simple word count program. If you want to run it, you can just click and see here. Uh, here it is asking for. Uh, would you like to attach test to continue running commands? Let's say click attach. So it is attached and it is running. So we'll wait for a sec. So if you run this command, I not collect. It has just one word. And file apparently this file is just contain one word and it is giving path one. So this is the whole you guys can explore explore it. So you if you if you want to you know upload any uh, file as an input file, you can go to data data. Then you can select any file. These files and you can upload it. Yeah, or you can you can browse from your local and you can upload it. Right. Thank you guys. Hope you like the video. Uh, since it was the uh, first video, there might be. Uh, I'm always welcome to you know suggestions. Please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.